And our last log rule here is called the reciprocal rule. And it's really just an adaptation of the base change rule. And it's summarized as log base A of B equals 1 over log base B of A. So just switched. Example 1. Show how the base change rule can lead to the reciprocal rule. Hmm, so kind of a proof here. So let's start off with log base A of B. And if we use the base change rule, we could write that as log base B of B over log base B of A. So essentially, we use the base change rule to change to base B. And from there, we see that on the top, log base B of B equals, well, that's just 1. And on the bottom, we're left with log base B of A. And we look back, and this is our reciprocal rule. We're done. Example 2. Combine these into a single log. And we think about a reciprocal rule. And normally with the reciprocal rule, we push the log to the denominator and write one over it if we need. But in this case, the logs are already in the denominator. So with our switch, we'd push them up to the numerator. So switching the 2 and the 7 and the 3 and the 7, we end up with this. Nice that we have the same base, that is 7. But before we can go further with that, we need to get rid of these coefficients out front. So we consider the power rule and we can switch those to exponents. Okay, so now same base and no coefficient, so let's combine these with the quotient rule, since it's a subtraction. And here's our final result. Pretty nice and clean. Now we could expand these powers, but this is also a good result. 